Hello everyone! What you've just seen hopping away was the long-nosed potteroo from Australia. <laughs> hey little hoppy, come back! But anyway, let's start with the beginning. This is part three of the wanderings at Newquay Zoo. So if you've not seen the previous two parts, Please just go to the playlist and find them in the Wanderings vlog section. They're hard to film through this mesh thing. Oh, there's both of them. Come this way, guys. Hello. You know what happened? I had a good minute of one of this little guy and I thought my camera was on, but it wasn't. <laughs> and I did say a lot of interesting things about him. Oh, come back. Okay, they might look like cute big rats, but they're actually not rodents, they're related to kangaroos, that's why you see them hopping about. They're in the other corner now. I keep running back and forth around the cage. <laughs> anyway, uh, there we go, a closer one, hello, you're cute. So they are called long nose potteroos, <laughs> as I said. And I just read that um, though the reasons are unknown, the further south you go on the continent of Australia, the longer their noses are. So that's an interesting fact. They hop really fast. Anyway, I'm going to move on from here. Oh, there you are again. There's lots of other interesting things to see. The lions have moved. All three of them were up on the top platform, sunbathing. Now one of the females having a walk around. One is still resting. And so is the male. Oh, there you are. We've already seen the meerkats in part two. But as I'm passing through this way again, I'm just gonna have a quick show of them. <laughs> They're so, so cute. One is digging, lots of sentineling now going on. When I first was here, they were having long sunbathing sessions. <laughs> anyway, there's other things to go for me to see and show you. The visibility is not good because of the window and the dust on it but there is a gorgeous kitty cat <laughs> having a snooze there and that's really cute to me uh, with a double portion because it's actually the Carpathian lynx and uh, it's an area I'm very familiar with <laughs> Look at him. Back to the lions. Hey. Commotion.
You look at him like a giant big cat. <laughs> Just like what it is. Rolling around. Oh. There's a playground for the kids nearby, so there's a lot of happy children <laughs> squealing about. Look at you too. Gorgeous. I'm sorry you're not r running around in Africa. Oh. There's two cuties hiding there, Australian creatures. I think they're called a dusky pademenon or something like that. I'm not sure <laughs> if I said it wrong. I'll look it up. They're very cute as well. There. That's what we just saw. Okay, it's New Guinea and surrounding islands, not Australia. Well, I was kind of close. <laughs> I'm back to these long nosed cuties. <laughs> I like your nosy. There are some parrots up there. Black colored. I've never seen anything like them. I'm not sure what they are. Oh, it says Vasa Parrot, I think. I'll have a look at the board in a minute. Yep. From Madagascar. And there's more up there. It's just really sunny, so... They're in the shade, the light is not helping me. Mm. And there's some crowned lemurs. Hello. Just a stay behind glass. Again, the same story. The mirroring effect is not helpful. There's a baby as well. Now I'm taking you to see these Sulawesi black crested macaques. And there they are. I can see five down there, one on the ropes. Look at the grooming session. They're so cute. That one's having a little play. Oops. That's 
He's got a mohawk. <laughs> so cute. Oops. These noisy airplanes are driving me nuts. Look at his funky bottom. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He was trying to catch flies. Are you going to the rest? Okay. They're very peaceful and resting. There's a Mr. Peacock. Hello, gorgeous. He's shedding. Look at his feathers. I'm a friend. Let's have a look at you up close a bit. I'm not sure if this was one of the ones I've seen before, because there were two of them. They just appeared from behind me <laughs> when I was looking at the chicken. And they came very near. They were very friendly. Okie dokie. You sort yourself out. Thank you for posing. Came to the other side of the monkeys. It's peaceful time. Look at that one sitting there. <laughs> Look at the grooming. Looks like it's nice to be a monkey. <laughs> oh, they're cute. That's a nice bench. Repurposed items. Wooden wheels and I think it's parts of a yoke and stuff beautiful and we are gonna see a Philippine spotted deer or Prince Alfred's deer and he is just there again having a little rest now I can see only one So I don't know if he's all alone or his friends are hiding someplace. Beautiful color. Might not see it properly because sit he's sitting in the shadow, but it's like a beautiful chestnut 
with light spots. And there's some flies around him. Take a look at this sight. Him lying in the meadow full of little daisies. <laughs> Hello, it's the red panda. I saw them before, so you can see it in the previous part. I don't remember if it was part one or two, but they not, were not this close. They were up in the tree, and one hiding in the house. Oh, you're gorgeous! And it's gone. And we are supposed to see cute striped squirrels. And they are all in there. Behind the mesh. One is munching. And the rest of them are running around like crazy. <laughs> oh, you are so cute! They are so fast, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna... Just so you see the commotion, how fast they are. <laughs> my goodness me. Okay, let's try and zoom on you a little bit, little fellow. And they found some bunnies. But it's really hard to show them to you through these grating things. They're called miniature lops. <laughs> They're in different colors from ginger to grey. Oh look at your cute heads. Cockerel is going nuts behind me. There should be guinea pigs here. I just can't see them. They're hiding. And there's a cute little African pygmy goat. Hello! Oh, there's more. There's more there. There's one right here. Look at him. <laughs> going to his friends. Hello little guy. <laughs> and there's another one there. They are really beautiful. Again, I showed them, I think, in part one. But I don't mind looking at them again. I hope you don't either. It's just the coloring so gorgeous. Look at you. You are beautiful. And there's a lady version. <laughs> You're beautiful too. Absolutely beautiful. And a beautiful bear. There's a crown lemur just there, but I can't see his face because it's behind the branch. Hello! <laughs> there you are. Okay. Cleaning time. What else is up there? There 
are so far from me that I'm actually not sure what's visible. But these ones with the coppery fur, they are actually called coppery titty monkey. <laughs> and they are from Brazil and Peru. There, we can see your face. Oh, and there you are. That was fast. Now, in this enclosure, there is some playful <laughs> squirrel monkeys. There's one. What did you find? And there's another one. Oh. Is there? Oh, you guys are not making it easy for me, are you? I just want to show you to the world how cute you are. There's loads of them in here. They're doing some crazy jumps. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There is a scuffle going on. What happened, guys? Why are you fighting? Hello. There's a white throated capuchin. Oh, are you sad? Oh, he's checking his fur. What did you find? Hello. There's another one in the background. There's adults and some young ones. I don't know if you can see them because the sun is, again, <laughs> not my friend. They were having a nice little play. Okay, there's two of them. That was a nice hop over. There's one. You've got a cute face. Look at me. Oh, 
what did you see? Is there a naughty bird coming? It's another one up there. They are so cute. It's just this cage business is not something I like. Oh. I don't know if they were born here in captivity. I hope so, because then they don't know how life is outside the cage. They're so fast. <laughs> He's checking out the spider monkeys there on the other side, opposite to them. Can we see your face? Hello. That one's munching something. Oops. Piece of celery or I don't know. Yep, it was a piece of celery. Which he threw away. You're right, who wants celery? <laughs> you can have other more delicious things. Okay. I'm inside the hide and there's some interesting little birds outside. Those long legged ones are called black neck stilt. <laughs> and these are the ring teal ducks. I was wondering when am I gonna see you guys? Beautiful. Again, I'm behind a glass, so there's some unwanted reflections. Those stilt birds are so cool with their long beaks and Stead like legs. <laughs> Look at them. Cute. There's a lot of vegetation, so it's hard to spot the birds, but there. I'm trying to zoom in. Can you see those two cuties? <laughs> they are spectacled parrotlets. <laughs> so they're mini parrots. They don't even have a full parrot name. They're parrotlets. <laughs> they're so cute. Sitting together. And I seen something else when I wasn't filming. I hope it's gonna come back again. And when it does, I'll show it to you. There it is. Can you see the bright red birdie? Well, part of it. It's a Brazilian tanager. Absolutely gorgeous. It's really far from me. Up in the distance, in the little windows, there is a pair of um, scarlet macaws. They're gorgeous. But they're sitting there. They don't want to come out. <laughs> I would like to see them all, but it's their choice where they want to be. Two of those cuties have flown closer. Oh, you're adorable. Look at you. Not even a parrot. <laughs> and they're off. 
And as usual, as soon as I stop filming, something more interesting happens. One of them decided to come out, and look, we can see it in all its glory. The beautiful plumage. And it's Paris just cuddling him. <laughs> Petting him. Oh, you're so cute. Absolutely beautiful. And big. And the glass is dirty, so there's plots of what not on it. Nothing. Now the strange red light is because it's uh, we are in the nocturnal animals and the silhouette of the creature there. It's a little loris. It's a slender loris from India. You really can't see it, so I'm not gonna torture you with this. Maybe this one? Well, it's between the leaves. <laughs> it's there. And this other thing, which doesn't show on the camera properly, is Austin civet. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous creature with stripes and stuff well my camera is not made for this so. we started with the tortoises and we shall end with the tortoises <laughs> this one has decided to have a little stroll well i hope you enjoyed this three part Wandering in New Kizu, I surely did. I spent about five hours here. My feet are aching. My battery is almost finished, though I did sneak in some place and uh, gave it 20 minutes of juice. Because <laughs> otherwise, part three would have not happened. But anyway, I really like this zoo. Obviously, I don't like the whole zoo concept altogether. But Considering what they have to work with, I think they did a good job. Uh, and the tortoise is almost gone. <laughs> I'll just show you a quick picture of the civet from inside the nocturnal part, which you couldn't see properly. Anyway, I was trying to close, <laughs> but they keep on getting distracted. Uh, and there's a red panda! Cute! Everything's cute. And I found that turtle's coming in <laughs> to his little home on the other side. So anyway, um, once more, if you guys only tuned in for part 3, please go and check out part 1 and 2 because there were some really beautiful creatures I got to show you there. And um, yeah. I had a wonderful time. I'm really happy I came here. And I hope you enjoyed the wanderings too. Wish you all a really lovely day. Or whatever's left of it. And I hope you get to see some cute animals. <laughs> in the upcoming weeks or months. Oops. My camera is just gone. Everything's getting t very tired now. So. No more mumbling from me. <laughs> Cheerio. Bye.